Hello and welcome to Scott's Amateur Woodshop. Today I'd like to show you how to grind an axe using a stationary belt sander. Um, so this is a stationary belt sander and it is actually my grinder of choice. I have another video where I showed how to use this platform in combination with a honing guide that you may already have a chisel or plane blade held in and how you can simply bring it to this platform and go directly to the grinder and directly back to your stones. Uh, but in this video I'd like to show you something else you can do with this kind of grinder and that is to grind an axe. Um, now before we get started I want to say you know I have been known to swing an axe without using safety glasses which is probably not the best idea but this is the case where step one is putting on the safety glasses seriously. There are hot sparks flying. You really do not want one of those in your eyes. It's also a good time to make sure you don't have any loose sleeves or hair. I've tied my hair back and uh, just approach this tool with respect and caution. Uh, it, it's pretty well behaved if you treat it with respect, but you, you do want to be aware of the hot sparks. Um, so the second thing to do is to grab your axe and make a few observations. This is a axe that I've had for quite a while and what you can do is you want to pick a distance from the edge of this table here uh, in this dimension that is kind of a fixed distance um, and you try to match this bevel angle right here. Um, you might micro bevel closer to the edge with the stone, but for now you just want to match this angle. So you simply look from the side and you adjust the distance until that angle matches. And then you root the base of this axe head to the spot. Okay? Now it's real easy. We just pivot it on that spot. We turn the grinder on and then we're going to sweep through the arc of this shape kind of holding it on that spot and it couldn't be easier now you can see that there's a stripe that's untouched right near the edge which means that my angle wasn't exactly where it should be or another generous interpretation would be that I've left a micro bevel for me to sharpen. Uh, and I think that is actually the interpretation I'm going to go with since, since the edge is quite sharp. Um, we don't have a problem. I will do the thing to the other side. Now this is why I've abbreviated this platform right here. I've left space for an axe handle to travel under it. Uh, now I'll do the same thing. Gauge the angle. Uh, and I think this will also similarly give me a little micro bevel left. And uh, let's try it. And you can see we've achieved a similar result on this side. So the way I've done it today is we've left this little micro bevel uh, zone that you can see as it appears as a dark line near the edge. And that provides a small surface and I would be essentially uh, polishing that surface right to the edge with the stone. And since I've ground the metal away that I did today on the, uh, the uh, stationary belt sander, that allows me to work a smaller area with the stone and saves me time. Um, so if you need to correct angles on an axe, uh, this is a great tool for that. And I, and I just wanted to show you why and, and how I do it. Um, so with that, let's wrap up the video. Um, remember to take a look at the buttons and use them. Um, there's all kinds of buttons below the screen if you're not in full screen mode. Um, please check out the description for anything I might have forgotten to say. 
Um, and if you leave a comment, I will most likely respond. Um, so please, please give this a, th a thought when you're considering what grinder you might want to have in your shop. The traditional um, dry grinders with the wheels are certainly fine. And in my experience, so is a stationary belt sander. So take your pick. Um, so I hope you'll take that under consideration and have a really wonderful day. Thanks for, thanks for visiting.